you know, I take such pride in the, the, the quality of the people we've been able to recruit to the office and the things that they do and their commitment, what they've done. Um, and, you know, people have talked about marriage equality. People have talked about, you know, suing the Trump administration, everything. But you know what? I always have said this. I've always said this, and it's still the thing that I'm most proud of. And it's something that didn't get on a lot of people's radar screens, but it helped a lot of people. And that was years ago, years and years ago, I sued the uh, nation's largest provider of Section 8 housing, mm -hmm. AIMCO, for something that they had down, uh, for code violations that they had down in, uh, in the Bayview. They have a big apartment complex down there. And, you know, they didn't want to just pay money and say, oh, well, where's it going to go? And I kind of saw something what they had to say. So we negotiated a settlement that got the first seed money to establish the Willie Mays Boys and Girls Club oh, cool. to serve the youth of Bayview Hunters Point. And I used that to then go leverage companies, the Giants, the 49ers, to throw in money that allowed us to build the Willie Mays Boys and Girls Clubhouse. And the Giants got involved with glove driving. Corporations put money in. And that serves hundreds or maybe thousands of kids in the Bayview. And I have, I have hanging in my office a plaque that I got from the Boys and Girls Club thanking me for that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of all the things, all the big cases, that's still the thing that I'm most proud. You know, including when I ran for the county committee, I've been on the ballot eight times. I won seven. I mean, I'd be a liar if I said I still don't bristle sometimes over that loss for mayor in 2011. Yeah. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, that in the long run, I think that was probably a good thing because it allowed me to rededicate myself and recommit to being the best city attorney that I could, could be. But, you know, that, that still sticks in my craw a little bit. But I will say in terms of uh, the biggest maybe loss that I've had legally is probably one that was the most recent. And I haven't had a lot of losses, but I have to tell you that um, I was really happy and not happy that I had to do it, but you know that lawsuit that we filed against the school district was an important case, mm -hmm. a very important case. And it continues, but I can't tell you how disappointed I am and was the fact that um, our motion for preliminary injunction was denied uh, and that I, in my view, um, you know, left uh, folks without, a, at least those from say, that have kids from six to 12, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sixth uh, grade to, to 12th grade, mm -hmm. I felt that it left them without real redress, mm -hmm. without real redress. I didn't think that there was a full plan that the school district put forward. And I, I vehemently disagreed with the court's ruling. And I feel like our motion for preliminary injunction should have been granted so that every grade from pre-K through uh, high school had an ironclad guarantee that they were going to open up as soon as possible. Because mm -hmm. when you look at what's going on in other big city school districts, I think that what was going on here in San Francisco was an abomination. So I think that is my biggest disappointment. I think um, <clears throat> every season has its time mm -hmm. and there's time for everything. And it's been, I've had a great run. I've done everything I could have ever dreamed of as city attorney. And uh, nothing can compare to, to the things that I've been involved in and the cases that I've done and things. And I just knew, you know, it's time for a new challenge. Mm -hmm something different. Um, I've done everything I could have ever dreamed of. And sometimes you just know mm -hmm. it's time. And that's what it came down to for me. <laughs>